recording. Three, two, one. No, three, two, one. There we go. Touch the screen. Okay. So for me, hi guys, how are you doing? Down 66, I'm back in the house. So I want to quickly touch on the point of the insurance. Um, the six points that I made such a show of and such a big thing about when the bike was um, impounded in uh, Perivale uh, Police Pound, which is where they take your bike to. I found myself explaining this a lot. I've made a lot of videos on it. As I said, sorry, I'm going to be eating in this vid. I'm dumb because I'm in a rush and I'm on the go. I seem to be busy lately. So the six points, I, over, I got it overturned. I don't know where to start. I mean, I went to, I got pulled over, as you guys know, this video got taken down, it wasn't by me, that's another story, um, for the right time, right place, but this video was taken down, it was basically me getting pulled on my, my motorcycle, my Kawasaki Ninja, as most of you know, and my bike being impounded, because my insurance was valid, it was fully calm. I was paying insurance. I had my policy, which is obviously how I won the case, and my persistence and blah blah blah. And um, the police just felt like it was, you know, they work. I feel like just working. They're working with the insurance companies, and they're just finding little parts, you know. Like most, some of you might have understood it, and might have understood it by now. Some of you probably might not have fully understood it. But you, I had insurance. The problem the police had was that my insurance had stated that it was not for social and pleasure and that it was only for going to work uh, sorry so i couldn't go to work it was only for the social and pleasure and it wasn't for commuting which would be going to work so this is what the fight was in court where i was standing in snaresbrook crown court um just before this coronavirus kicked in and i had a good judge that day i told him he was a good judge um just before he made the decision and after but um I don't think he believed me, but it's regardless to the fact that I won the case. And this whole six points thing, like, come on, a lot of people went against me on the six points on, you know, me being a cock bag and me being this guy who's just, you know, we are put into a box into some criteria of being bad boys. Obviously, I wear a hat and a hood and blah, 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 but we're put into that. So, obviously... This is how most that mindset is going to see guys like me as fucking idiots and bad boys and bad guys. So everything we do is just bad. But obviously I won, so it couldn't have been that bad because the judge obviously agreed with me. And the prosecution was really... I don't know where to start. I mean, look, I I was meant to win this one in the beginning. But when I was in magistrate's court, I didn't bring what I should have bought with me. So let's say I wasn't armed. And I said that in one of my videos previously. I wasn't armed, I wasn't ready. And I feel I had, and I'm going to say this, I feel like I had racist judges. I'm going to say that, yeah? Now, I don't need to say that now because I've won the case, but I'm saying it because that's how I really, really feel. And that there were, there, were, there were racist judges, they were very, how do you know? I don't know, I just feel it. I just felt like they were, they put me in that same criteria box I'm talking about. They were a lot older and so they had that kind of mentality. And it was that, because them finding me guilty didn't make any sense. Uh, apart from like I said I didn't bring what I needed but they still I still did have my policy that day so I did show it to the magistrates court and they still found me guilty and they let this fucking dickhead policeman win but Dan being Dan 636 obviously went all out and appealed um, they tried to throw me off and the courts do that and how they do that is you keep coming to court they keep coming back they keep adjourning it they'll find reasons why they can't see you today and that's what happened but I kept at it and I managed to have that court case. And if someone like me has a court case and I managed to talk, it's going to be a lot of problems. So, excuse me. So, that's what happened. And I had this beautiful black lady as my opposition for the CPS crime prosecution for the police who tried her at most best. And I do commend her, but she couldn't do it in the end to try to convince the crown court which is where the appeal took place that in snaresbrook um that you know the court could not ignore the fact that this man was driving a vehicle be my motorcycle um, um with the wrong insurance so technically she's saying he was paying insurance but it's the wrong insurance he shouldn't have been driving to work because apparently i've told this officer i was going to work blah 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 now Let's say 
I was going to work. Can anyone define work for me? Probably not. Um, now you should think about that. And the police need to think about that as well while they're trying to fuck people out of money and pounding their shit and giving them fines and giving them points. Now I had six points, I had £180 fine, it's now gone. And I'm really proud of myself. And I would urge everyone on to in life to to fight back sometimes. Um, after this coronavirus thing, I hope that life goes back to normal, who knows. And if it does, um, fight back, man. Don't be scared. Let you go to court and you just freeze when you can't breathe. And I know the feeling, but I've lived it. But you need to stand up for yourself because why should you have six points for something that you was paying for? In my, in my, in my circumstances, I was paying insurance. I mean, I was literally paying. Why should I be tallied out, be fucked over? I have money and my bike being impounded and all that. Fuck that shit, man. I should be getting more money than the judge actually awarded me at the end, which was about £17 for travel. Absolutely bullshit. Should I go and get the money? No. I want to get the money, though. I think the courts owe me something like £42 all in all. I've never paid it. But yet still, they still want money when, when it's their turn. It's crazy. But I don't want to go off the point in this subject. Apart, There's two things I just want to say. One, fuck all of you motherfuckers that went against me on this. You weak mentality motherfuckers. You fucking stuck in a box bitches. And a shout out to everyone else. Waz, my brother Waz. All my days. This is the guy who, when I came home and they told me I was guilty, six points, six hundred pound fine, all that shit. He's the one that said to me on the phone, bruv, that story you just told me, that sounds like racism, bruv. That don't even make sense. How can they be doing you for that? How can they say, take your bike and and, and say, oh, your insurance is void, invalid, when you actually pay an insurance? You have a policy. It don't make any sense. So shout out to my boy Wazzy I've known for years. Bad boy biker. That is my brother right there. Shout out to um, Lady Z. Yeah, Heady, you know who you are. All right. And everyone that actually showed support to that case and told me to carry on. That's what you need around you, winners. Not people that are going to put you down, make you feel like you're some bad boy because you've got a hat on and two straps and that, yeah? And then, you know, just belittle, your, belittle who you are and your mentality. It doesn't work It doesn't work like that in my world, bro. I'll crush people like that. So I went to court and I won and I just urged everyone else to fight back in life. Um, and yeah, man, that's about it. I won the six points. It's an amazing thing. I know a lot of you are shocked. You won't say anything, but you're fucking like, wow, this guy literally went there and overturned a fucking case. And I got one more case to go, which I will win that as well for whoever's watching. Shout out to Ninjalina on that one. Anyway, guys, I'm out. Sorry that my videos are taking long. It's a mad time right now. People are just all over the place. They don't know what's going on with their lives. They're getting their jobs back, their businesses back up and running. No one knows what's going on. Everyone's confused. KFC apparently is opening up soon. McDonald's, I don't know what the hell's going on with McDonald's. But all these little restaurants here and there, apparently, starting to open. Or is it just hearsay? It's crazy. Just went into um, Sainsbury's, and then just before I wouldn't have got this, and I was told they don't have any sandwiches no more because they're stopping the bakery. That's major food right there, you're stopping. Bakery. All right, cool. Stop the bakery. Because of the COVID-19. While KFC wants to open. And she's, uh, the lady said. I don't know if she's right. But she said. Um, it's, it's, it's up to the discretion of the businesses. I don't think that's true. But she's saying it's up to the discretion of the businesses. If they want to continue to open. Or sell what they sell. Or if they feel something could harm people. So they stop you know like the bakery thing and all that. It's crazy. But anyway. They're talking. I'm out. Down to through six. So here we go for 10th of March 2020, they wanted me to pay some extra fines, no, this is what I was awarded I think, £18 plus the rest. And here we go, so we had heard on 10th of March, it was ordered that appeal against conviction allowed, before that is what I had to pay because they found that, well they found me guilty which was I think £180. Yeah, find about ten pounds for that, plus the other five hundred and something, not including your bike, which you had to get out of the police metropolitan pound in Perivale, which was another, let's say, two hundred pounds. Um, but I think the main thing is, um, you know, you want it, and you can see I'm trying to zoom in right now. 
was heard on March 10th, 2020, and it was ordered to appear against Kavishan Alata. Never give up, peeps.